Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize and get better performance in all new Rainbow Six Siege new season dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch around till the end without wasting any more time and let's get started. Alright, first thing is the best window settings and for that you need to search for settings on your PC and once you're over here you have to scroll down to gaming then go over to game bar and turn this thing off. I highly recommend you guys to do this because game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and then you have to go down and enable game mode because this will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background which will give you better performance. Right after that you'll find graphic settings simply open this thing up and then click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. First one will enable hardware exploited GPU scheduling and second one will enable optimize for windowed games both of them will help you to utilize your gpu to the maximum level as well as optimize your games and reduce input latency then you have to go back to graphics and then click on browse and add rainbow six siege from this list right over here now i've already added rainbow six right over here so simply click on options and then simply click on high performance once you're done with that you can close your settings and let's move to step number two that is the best nvidia control panel settings now if you guys use nvidia control panel this one is for you but if you have an amd graphics card or intel hd graphics card do not worry i have already made a separate guide on both of them so you guys can go and check it out on the channel now right click on any empty area of your desktop and then simply go to show more options and then click on nvidia control panel now once you're over here you have to go to use the advanced 3d image settings and then simply click on take me there then you'll come to manage 3d settings over here you have to copy the exact same settings and these are the best settings for your gpu for better performance and fps in rainbow six siege not just this game but all games Right after that, you'll find Configure Surround and Physics. And right over here, you have to click on Processor and select your GPU. Then you have to go down to Adjust Video and Color Settings. And over here, you have to click on With NVIDIA Settings and then select Advance. And if Dynamic Range is available, set this thing to Full. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Now next step is deanimating your windows and it is also really important because windows animations consume a lot of memory and CPU consumption. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here you have to click on adjust for best performance, click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will help you to get better performance. Go to the second tab that is the advanced tab and right over here you have to set programs for processor scheduling and underneath that you have to open up virtual memory by clicking on change now for the custom size you have to set 1361 just a little bit over 1 gb of your memory and then the maximum size should be half of your total memory so for that you need to search for system information on your pc and then look for the installed physical memory on your pc it is 32 gb for me so you have to open up a calculator and right in front of it you have to multiply 32 with 1024 and that will give you your memory in megabytes now you have to divide this thing by two and the final answer should be put in the maximum size once it is done you have to simply click on set and then click on ok now next step is 
disabling memory compression this is also really really beneficial whenever you're playing your games so for that you have to open up powershell on your pc and make sure to run this thing as an administrator now once it opens up you have to type in this command that is get mma agent and you have to check if memory compression is set to false now memory compression is actually useful for your pc but it consumes a lot of cpu usage even while your memory is not being compressed it runs a lot of processes in the background which in turn leads to fps loss so for that we have to disable memory compression and for that you have to paste this command that is disable mma gent hyphen mc this command will help you to disable your memory compression i've already done it but if you want to re-enable it back again what you can do is change this disable to enable and that will enable your mma gent but once again do not forget to restart your pc once you do this step now here is the secret to zero ping if you guys want to fix your network issues and input latency i highly recommend you guys to use exit lag you can get it from the link in the description below and once you open up this application it should look like this now exit lag is process to get rid of all of your network issues it offers you a list of over thousand games to choose from you can simply search for rainbow six siege right over here and then choose the nearest region to you for me it is singapore 01 then simply click on use the roots within my country first and as you guys can see it gives me an estimation of 52 milliseconds of ping simply click on apply routes and now it will find the best dns servers to connect me through and give me the least amount of packet loss and ping issues you guys can go check out exit lag from the link in the description below and you can get free months on the new subscription so make sure to go check it out next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to simply search for create a restore point on your pc this is most important so i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step select local disk c click on create and name it something you can remember it from and then simply click on create this will help you to restore every settings back without any data loss. Now next step is the Rainbow Six Siege FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my Discord server for downloading this pack. You can simply open this thing up and you'll find in 5 simple folders. The first one is CPU priority in which you have to find your AMD or Intel CPU. Now I currently use an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. It could be different for you so I've also left the Intel CPU priority. Next is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets. So if you want to optimize your RAM, you can select your RAM registry over here. I use 32 GB so I need to run this one. It could be different for you so I've left a ton of presets. Also if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Next Next is Rainbow Six Siege Priority and this is most important, I highly recommend you guys to run this one because it is really vital, it will set the Rainbow Six Siege Priority to the highest level so whenever you are playing the game, other applications and services would not be interfering your gameplay. Next is Windows Optimization Registries and in here I have left a ton of registries, now once again this is completely optional, if you guys are tired of your low end PC and you want to get better performance, I highly recommend you guys to run all of them and if some of them doesn't work out for you, you can always reset them back from this folder. Last is the batch tweaks and in here I have left clean temporary files as well as useful tweaks so you have to run both of them as an administrator. Now the first one will ask you to delete all of the temporary files and you can press any key and it will start deleting all of them. Once it is done it will automatically close it and now you are rid of the cache memory. Next is useful tweaks and this consists a lot of commands that you do not have to manually type in it is set to automatically execute every single one of them it will help you to disable unnecessary services and give you better performance once all of this is done i highly recommend you guys to drop into the game and follow the best in game settings okay so once you're in your game you have to press your escape key and then go over to options then over here you have to go over to the display settings and then make sure that your display adapter is your graphic card Right beneath that, you'll find your monitor, it should be your native monitor, as well as the native resolution. For display mode, I highly recommend you guys to use full screen, do not use windowed or borderless, because in that way you cannot optimally use the game and use your complete hardware for the games. Right beneath that, you'll find the aspect ratio, keep it to auto, or your native aspect ratio, that is 16 is to 9 for me. Then you have VSync, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off, FPS limit, turn this thing off, widescreen data box off, and field of view should be maximum. Right after that, go to graphics and then texture quality should be set to high, texture filtering should be set to linear, LOD, shading quality and shadow quality as well as the reflection quality all of them set to low, VFX quality low, ambient occlusion this is really important, turn this thing off, lens effects and zoom in depth keep both of them off and aliasing TAA or you can also keep this thing off. Once you're done applying all of these settings simply press on apply and you're good to go. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.